Book 18 1. The Lord of Wei went into exile. The Lord of Qi became a slave. Pekan died for his reproofs. Confucius said, In free of the yin there was love. 2. When Liu Xiaohui was judge, he was thrice dismissed. Men said, Why not leave, sir? He answered, Whither could I go and not be thrice dismissed for upright service? To do crooked service, what need to leave the land of my forefathers? 3. Cheng, Duke of Qi, speaking of how to treat Confucius, said, I could not treat him as I do the Qi. I should set him between Qi and Meng. Again he said, I am old, I have no use for him. Confucius went his way. 4. Qi Huan accepted the gift of singing girls from the men of Qi. For three days, no court was held. Confucius went his way. 5. Qie Yu, the mad head of Chu, as he passed Confucius, sang, Phoenix, bright Phoenix, thy glory is ended. Think of the future. The past can't be mended. Up and away. The court is today with danger attended. Confucius alighted and fain would have spoken with him. But hurriedly he made off. No speech was to be had of him. 6. Chang Zhu and Qian Yi were working together in the fields. Confucius, as he passed by, sent Zhu Lu to ask after a ford. Chang Zhu said, Who is that holding the reins? Kong Chiu, answered Zhu Lu. What? Kong Chiu of Lu? The same, said Zhu Lu. He knows the ford said Chang Zhu. Zhu Lu asked Qian Yi, Who are ye, sir? He answered, I'm Chong Yu, the disciple of Kong Chiu of Lu? Yes, said Zhu Lu. The world is one seething torrent, answered Qian Yi. What men can guide it? Were it not better to choose a master who flees the world, than a master who flees this man and that man? And he went on hoeing without stop. Zhu Lu went back and told the master, whose face fell. Can I herd with birds and beasts? he said. Whom but these men can I choose as fellows? And if all were right with the world, I should have no call to set it straight. 7. Zhu Lu, having fallen behind, met an old man bearing a basket on his staff. Zhu Lu asked him, Have you seen the master, sir? The old man answered, Thou dost not toil with my limbs, nor canst thou tell one grain from another. Who is thy master? And planting his staff in the ground, he began weeding. Zhu Lu bowed and stood before him. He kept Zhu Lu for the night, killed a fowl, prepared millet, feasted him, and presented his two sons. On the morrow, Zhu Lu went to the master and told what had happened. The master said, He is in hiding. He sent Zhu Lu back to see him, 
but when he reached the house, the man had left. Zi Lu said, Not to take office is wrong. If the ties of old and young are binding, why should the claim of king or minister be set aside? Wishing to keep his person clean, he flouts a foremost duty. A gentleman takes office at the call of right, aware though he be that the cause is lost. 8. Po Yi, Shu Qi, Yu Zhong, Yi Yi, Zhu Chang, Liu Xia Hui, and Shao Lian were men who fled the world. The master said, Po Yi and Shu Qi will not bend the will or shame the body. We can but say that Liu Xia Hui and Shao Lian bent the will and shamed the body. The words jumped with duty. The deeds answered our hopes. We may say of Yu Zhong and Yi Yi that they lived in hiding, but gave the rein to the tongue. They were clean in person. Their retreat was timely. But I am unlike all of these. I know not must or must not. 9. Qi, the chief musical conductor, went to Qi. Khan, the conductor at the second meal, went to Chu. Liao, the conductor at the third meal, went to Chai. Chue, the conductor at the fourth meal, went to Qin. The drum master Fang Shu crossed the river. The tambourine master Wu crossed the Han. Yang, the assistant bandmaster, and Xiang, who played the sounding stones, crossed the sea. 10. The Duke of Zhao said to the Duke of Lu, A prince does not forsake kinsmen nor offend great vessels by neglect. He will not discard an old servant unless he have big cause. He asks perfection of no man. 11. Zhao had eight officers, Po Ta and Po Ko, Zhong Tu and Zhong Hu, Shu Ye and Shu Xia, Qi Sui and Qi Kua. End of book eighteen.